I want to share with you a tutorial today on Affinity Publisher and how to use bullet point lists with several text lines per bullet point. Most of you might face the problem that if you have a bullet point list with text in it and several lines, the line is going under the bullet point. So no matter how to extract it or distract it, it's always there until the, it's only one line left. So how, to, so how to make it look like this, that you have bullet points nicely here and all text lines are structured evenly um, under the first line of the bullet point. So let me erase that first and start from scratch. So we use the text frame tool just place here text and I'm lazy so I just fill in a filler text and because we cannot edit it I expand the field so we can edit the filler text so and I use several paragraphs and then we use the paragraph menu here which you can also find on the view on the studio and check paragraph. Then you will find it here on the um, on the right side or on either side where you have it usually. And you find here below the type bullet and numbering. So you click bullet and numbering and then you see type and here you choose bullet or any type of list you want. I choose the bullet right now. So here you can see that we have here the way the bullet should look like and the tab it has. Here is the tab stop. So if you vary the tab stop, say 20, then the spacing between the bullet point and the text become um, 20 millimeters long. How to make sure that the second line is always under the first line? So you go back to the paragraph settings and you use this part here. So here you can see that this one is moving the full text, like the complete paragraph, by 20 to the next line. Problem is now that the first line is also set to 20 automatically. So why 20? 20 we chose here in the tab stop distance. So if you have here 6.4, which is the default number, then you use 6.4. So this icon here tells you that the first line here is also set to 20. So what you will do now is to set it to zero. And then the first bullet starts again on the very left side. And the first line starts also here nicely with the second line. So just to do it again. Um, we choose all paragraphs here, then set this one to 20 because we set here down there, tab stop is 20 millimeters distance, say 20, and set the first line to zero so the bullet point is on the left side. And the first line starts with the second line. That's it for today. Enjoy further editing with Affinity Publisher. And take care.